Okay, so in this video, we will introduce the extended product rule of differentiation. So if you recall, we know that if we multiply two functions, f times g, then the derivative of the product is the derivative of the first function times the second function, plus the first function times the derivative of the second function. So this is how the derivative operates over a single product between two functions. And you might ask, well, what if we multiply not two functions together, but three functions together? So f times g times h, and we ask, how can we differentiate now two products between three functions? And the rule is remarkably simple. If you look back at the single product rule, think of the derivative jumping on the first function, then on the second function. So we have f prime g is the first term, then the derivative jumps on the second function plus f g prime. It is the exact same idea applied in an, an extended form. So we have f times g times h, and we ask how do we differentiate f times g times h? Well, derivative of the first function, f prime times everything else, g h, plus, now the derivative goes from f onto g, so g prime times everything else, f h, plus, and now the derivative jumps from g onto h, h prime, times everything else, f g. And this is the extended product rule, and you can easily see how this works out over a product of four functions, five functions, and so on. Now let's prove this using the single product rule. And the idea is remarkably simple. We look at f times, and now we view g times h as a single function, g h. So now we've reduced these two products to a single product between the function f and the function g h. So we can now apply the usual product rule. So derivative of the first function times the second function g h plus the first function f times the derivative of the second function g h prime. And if you notice now, the derivative of g times h is now the derivative of a single product between the function g and h, so we can again apply the usual product rule on g h. So let's recopy the first term, plus f times, and the derivative of g times h is the derivative of g times h, plus g times the derivative of h. Let's multiply out f, So f g prime h plus f g h prime. And if you notice, this is exactly what we claimed was the extended product rule in the case of three functions multiplied together. And as an exercise, you can verify that this idea of the extended product rule applies to products between three functions, four functions, five functions, and so on. And this is the extended product rule.